shadow for a picture so the first thing that we are going to do now is to take a picture onto our workspace let's go to our desktop and carry a picture onto our workspace we are taking this picture onto our workspace Here it has said could not place the documents because the file format model cannot pass the file. There are some instances where you will try to carry a picture onto your workspace and they will be telling you that the file format cannot pass that file. So when you see that, what you have to do is to click on that picture or that file and then you right click on it then you click on open with then you come to paint you click on paint then you click on far after that you click on save us so when you click on the save us button you will see some options here then you click on jpeg picture so you are saving it as jpeg picture so you click on jpeg picture then you name it the way you want so i'm naming it as two one after that you click save so we are going to take that 21 picture onto our workspace so we are taking this picture this is it we are taking it onto our workspace so our picture is now on our workspace what we are going to do next is to remove the background of this picture to do so you right click on your picture or the layer for that picture when you right click on it you see some options here so you come to where rasterized layer is then you click on it you click on rasterized layer and you are free to edit on that picture then we are going to we have three tools that we can use we have even four that we can use to remove the background of this picture we can use the lasso tool polygonal magnetic we have many tools and we have when quick selection to quick magic one two and pen two we can use all these tools to remove the background of this picture so here we are going to use the quick magic one tool to remove the background of this picture simply because the quick magic one tool to choose an area of photoshop which detects and selects the edges so you can or you do not trace them manually so it will automatically select an area for you and the edges of it and it will automatically select similar tones and stop so here it has selected the similar tones after that we click on select then we click on inverse then we press on the backspace button let's undo our work you click on select then you come to inverse then you press on backspace and all the layers around the picture will be deleted then you press on the control key control plus d so the layer for the picture has been removed we have changed the background of this picture then we come to this portion then we click on it and that portion will be selected then we click on the backspace button then we come to this side we do the same and we are good to go
so this is how we change the background we use the quick magic tool or the magic one to to remove the background of a picture the next thing that we are going to do is to drop a shadow for this picture to do so you come to where your layers are then you click on the layer that you want to create a shadow for it then you click on fx after that you see some options here then you come to the bottom of it you see a drop shadow there then you click on drop shadow after that you set the angle that you want your shadow to be so i'm setting it as 50 you can set the size the speed and the distance so i'm leaving it then you click ok then the next thing that you have to do is to go to where your layers are then you click on layer star when you click on layer star you come to create layer you click on create layer then you press ok so after that you press control you click on the shadow then you press control t when you press on the control t then you press you hold on the control key then you move your or you transform your shadow to the direction that you want This is how we drop a shadow for a picture. So please kindly hit on my subscription button and get more videos from Arrival Graphics. Thank you all.